Hey guys, iOS 12.1.2 has been released today after a very short beta release period. It's kind of a surprise because you'd think that they'd have at least three or four betas, but no, there's a very important fix they had to push out as soon as possible. So let's see everything that's new and everything you need to know about this release before updating. Now, first thing I wanted to address is the app switcher. Is it fixed? In the one beta that we had, it was completely bugged and this is a different build number, so it's not the same beta release. Uh, let's go ahead and see. So basically you have to open an app real quick and then close it. Yeah, it looks like it's been fixed. So, oh, no, no, it's still there. So it looks like, yeah, I'm still having some weird issues with my app switcher on 12.1.2. I did not have this on 12.1.1. Yeah, no idea what that's about, but uh, hopefully they fix that soon. The actual update for me was huge again. It was almost 400 megabytes, but it took almost two gigabytes away from me. So from nine gigabytes, I went down to six. Well, actually over two, so that's kind of crazy. A lot of storage taken up, and this was from the previous beta to the new one. Don't know what that's about, but it takes up a lot of storage. App Switcher's still bugged for me. What are the actual changes? So the reason Apple rushed to release 12.1.2 is because they're having an ongoing legal battle with Qualcomm, and it's very likely they included some fixes to some patent infringement that they had in previous versions of iOS, and as a result, they were barred from selling some of their iPhones in China. And those infringements relate to resizing and reformatting photos and managing applications using a touch screen while using apps. It's unclear if and how Apple addressed those patent infringements, but that's very likely one of the changes in why we saw 12.1.2 being released so soon. I'm also having a strange issue where it says there's a developer beta for 12.1.2 available, even though I'm on the final version. Don't know what that's about. That won't disappear. Also, another change that Apple included is some fixes to the eSIM activation on newer 10R and 10S models. So some people are having issues that's since been resolved since more carriers seem to be supporting that. They've got those issues out of the way. It also addresses an issue that could affect cellular connectivity in Turkey for the newer iPhones. I've heard a lot of people having those issues here in America, so hopefully this has some behind the scenes updates to that. But anyways, it's not a huge update, just has a couple crucial bug fixes you wanna get taken care of. I'm still not sure why they didn't fix the app switcher. It's been bugged for me ever since updating and still has not been resolved. So hopefully we see something soon here. iOS 12.2 will probably introduce some actual new features. I'm waiting for that one. Anyway, Ways, let's run a Geekbench as is customary here. Also, while this is running, if you have an iPad or an iPod Touch and you're wondering why you haven't gotten this update, it's because Apple hasn't released it for the iPads. This is iPhone only fixes here, and it is a bit unusual to see this release without release for iPad as well. But anyways, here's the score. So before, this is what I had on 12.1, 11,000 a little bit under that, but definitely no cause for concern. So just so you know, again, I'm gonna close SoundCloud and reopen it real quick. There we go, like, I don't know what the heck that is. It refuses to close sometimes, but it's pretty dang annoying. But all right, there it is. I was 12.1.2, a few crucial bug fixes, nothing big other than that. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. Peace.